Forgive me, Kid Rock, this is all I had in the fridge. So this week, we're going to relive uh, my life. I haven't watched some of these videos since I've made them because they make me cringe just thinking about it. And a lot of these aren't even available on YouTube. I've been making these videos for over a decade. Uh, I'm old as fuck, Jesus. And we're gonna react to some of these videos that people have come to love over the years. Oh God, I'm just, I, this is my nightmare. Well, I figured there's no better place to start than the first ever video that you uploaded to YouTube. 196,000 views? It definitely didn't have that when I uploaded it. It probably had like 13, but let's see. Oh my God, my old room. Get the fuck up! <laughs> Yeah, so hold on, just pause it. Yeah, so this is the uh, the bedroom that me and Keith shared when we were growing up. This was before I was making any sort of like actual like talking to camera videos. I was just like, I'm gonna record random shit and put it on YouTube. And this is the first idea I thought of. Keith was sleeping, it was probably noon. And I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna scream in his face and this is gonna be the video. And I would post it to Facebook for other people to enjoy. And that was like my first idea. So not a whole lot of production or thought going into this video, but this is the beginning of my career was screaming, wake the fuck up to Keith's face. This next video is called the Facebook poke. Oh God, dude. Let's watch this intro. Yeah. <laughs> What's up guys? This week we're going to be talking about the most electrifying part of Facebook. It's the best part. So it's like the vagina uh, of Facebook. Shut up. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up, dude. Also, I sound so Queens in this video. Like, we're today we're gonna be talking about. I was gonna ask, was that your real voice back then? Yeah. Was that your show voice? No, no. This is this is how I spoke. We're gonna be talking about the poke, not the pulp. Great guy, love him to death. Ugh. But this is about the poke. The poke works in very mysterious ways. As power. Hold on, pause it, pause it, pause it. The amount of bracelets that I wore back then is astounding. The initial poke. It's kind of like saying, hey. I like how your cleavage looks in your profile picture. Oh. Let me get a look-see. Oh my god! <laughs> I hate myself! This is just fuck. I hate- I hate this fucking video so much. It's kind of like putting your dick on the table. <laughs> Same. I can't! Alright, this next one is called High School Problems, and this has over a million views. This- this video was- is actually, I think, the first video that a lot of people were introduced to me. I mean, when I say a lot, I think this video at the time, you know, I mean, I'm guessing, but I'm assuming it got like 40,000 views and that was like a ton for me. Like the same way that now they go like, oh, Idiot's the Internet or Mad Libs. This was the original one where people would be like, I've been watching you since high school problems. You know, I'm sure there's people who's watching this video that would be like, yo, that was the first video I saw or whatever, so. Slide into the hallway and your day just got a whole lot shittier. Because the ugliest couple in school is making oh, out in God. front of your locker again. Jesus you ever notice, Christ. like, it's always like the uglier people are. Oh no. The harder they make out. <laughs> you know? Like, you see a nice looking couple and it's like, <laughs> like, but like, ugly people like, are, 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 <laughs> This is killing me. I'm sweating right now watching this shit. I also have a question. I've noticed on some of these videos that you yeah. ended with some comments from people but then yeah a picture <laughs> a picture of yourself why because i'm a narcissist that's why i had just gotten a brand new camera so i was taking photos with it and like editing them like fucking hell too i don't know why i would put these at the end i think it was just to showcase my twitter account at the time but i yeah i don't know why i did that to be honest but i remember after every video i would put people's tweets because i would be like oh like uh, you know, if they tweet me about the video, then I'll put you in the next video. So it like, I was trying to like, just to uh, create engagement. God, I was ahead of my time back then. Moving on to a video called Games That Guys Play. Oh, this is also very early on. Oh, as you can see, there was a desk in my basement. And for some reason I was like, let's just hang a bed sheet with thumbtacks in the roof. I don't know why. I just thought it looked better than our messy ass fucking basement. So I was like, I'm gonna do that. But I also put a bunch of fucking holes in the ceiling. Oh, oh my lord! I'm not this type of girl. Babe, don't worry. Look at the TV! Me. You don't have to worry. Oh my god, bro. This is horrible. You are too cute. Oh, babe, come on. Just send that to right now. I, 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 I'm gonna fucking die. Don't show nobody. You're I had a gone. Blackberry. 
I think I got it. I think she's gonna send them to me. What was that? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my mermaid! <laughs> Davino! Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, the point of that video is to say that if you send your picture a, a picture of your tits to some guy, he's going to show his friends. Uh you know, even back then not something that I did, but I put it in a video because I was like, oh, this is relatable content. Uh but yeah, this was I don't even know. God, this is so painful to watch. So we're gonna jump forward to a milestone. This video is talking to strangers, but in the beginning you say that it's your 100th video that you ever recorded. Wow. And this was nine years ago. Actually, that last video was the first time I think that I showcased that wig that I bought. And it was the only wig that I had. So that's why I, the girl in the last video was wearing that gray wig. But then it, when I put it on, I just became this like, you know, Hispanic speaking, you know, <laughs> woman, I guess. I have no fucking idea. These are the girls that I grew up around, though. Like, when I was in middle school, they were all, this is how they spoke. So I was like, I'm going to put this wig on and I'm going to act like one of them. And then I just went on Omegle and I would talk to strangers. Hence the fucking name of the fucking video. You need to do a push up. <laughs> I go to church. What are you in the back of a language arts class? That's a bulletin board behind you, boy. <laughs> Could that shirt get any smaller? Whose is that? Your little sisters or some shit? <laughs> No, I you don't want to see, see my that dick. Shit. Oh, pause it, pause it, pause it. Yeah, I don't know. This probably wouldn't fly these days. You know what I mean? Like, this is over nine years ago, but I feel like people wouldn't be happy with me talking in that accent, you know? But, I mean, is it. I, whatever. I don't know. Hey, what's up, guys? I hope you're enjoying the video so far, but I want to stop to tell you about the sponsor that we have today, which is SeatGeek. SeatGeek is where I buy all of my tickets. In fact, literally tomorrow, I'm going to the Yankees game and I bought my tickets through the app. As you can see, from my phone here, uh, this is the game. What they have is a really dope interface because they have tickets that are green, uh, they're orange and red. If they're orange and red, you're starting to get into the territory of like, you might be overpaying for this, but the green ones, those are good price tickets. If it's dark green, that's a really good price ticket. And it's not just for baseball games. It's for all sporting events or concerts or Pretty much anything you get tickets to, to be honest. Go check it out. Every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, which is amazing. Uh, and also, we're going to hook you up. If you use the code Joe, you will get $20 off of your first purchase uh, with SeatGeek. So go download the app. Get yourself some tickets to a nice game or a concert or a, a play or something. I don't know. Uh, whatever you want to do. And use the promo code Joe, and you will get $20 off of your first purchase. So go download that app, like I said. Put in that promo code and save some money. Also, I want to tell you about a company named Seed. Seed makes a daily symbiotic called DSO-1 that's going to help improve your pooping experience. A lot of people in their lives will deal with constipation or some sort of pooping anxiety or something that's gonna like, you know, not make the whole thing go as smooth as possible. But Seed's DSO-1 Daily Symbiotic is going to promote digestive health, reinforce healthy stool hydration, and it's going to support the ease of gastrointestinal discomfort. Not only that, but it could be beneficial to your heart as well. It could help you maintain blood cholesterol levels while, that are already in a normal range. So there's a variety of ways that this daily symbiotic could be beneficial to you. Start a new healthy habit today. Visit seed.com slash Joe and use the code Joe to redeem 25% off of your first month of Seed's daily uh, symbiotic called DSO-1. Uh, that's seed.com slash Joe and use the code Joe. All right, this one needs no introduction. This is the very first Idiots of the Internet. Idiots of the Internet, which I haven't talked about in so long, but this is like, it was the first thing of mine that kind of like went viral. Everything was sort of like a slow climb for me until I put out Idiots of the Internet and it went super viral on Facebook and like millions of people watched it. Um, one of the videos was shared like, I don't even know, like like a million times or something, something ridiculous like that. And I was and I was just shocked by that. But then I, that's why I did this video so many fucking times. There's like 14 of them. But this is the first one. And I haven't seen this video probably since I made it. Eight years ago, eight million views. Crazy. I'm not against gay people in the slightest, but how do the penises fit into oh each God, other? Oh my God, dude. <sighs> wow. I don't, I don't know if you've ever seen a people. Can you pause this? Dude, I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of shocked that this series became as popular as it did. 
because I'm looking back on these videos going like, these are like a right. Like, I think this video is like, okay. I don't think I was planning on making this a series at all, but people seem to enjoy it. And it was easy enough for me to make. So I was like, all right, I'll just keep giving the people what they want. Also, one thing that I want to point out is that I'm not talking that loud in these videos because I was so embarrassed making them that I couldn't physically speak into my in, speak when I was recording videos if I knew someone was in the kitchen because <laughs> those stairs led up right to my kitchen. So if I knew my mom was in there, I like couldn't I couldn't record. But yeah, it is to the internet, man. Became super important to my career, I would say. Next video the first ever Mad Libs Madness. This video came about because me and Keith were bored and I was like, I need to you know, shoot a video and like whatever. And I knew that people played Mad Libs on the internet, but I didn't think the videos were that funny. So I was like, let's add this element of like putting water in our mouth and uh, you know, try not to laugh and we'll spit water everywhere or like whatever the fuck. I do remember one thing that stands out in particular from these videos is I don't remember which video it was, but we were, I was reading the, the Mad Libs back to Keith and a snot rocket the size of Texas came out of his nose. Uh, that one. Buying Christmas presents for every family fig <laughs> is not only stressful, but also costs an arm and a dick. <laughs> <laughs> That is disgusting. No way! No way! <laughs> Dude. We just started! What the fuck? Alright, pause it. Dude, obviously that was not planned. I did not know that was gonna happen. Uh, but, yeah, that is disgusting. I don't even know how that could possibly happen to a person. You know, and that's not the first time this has happened to Keith. I remember one time we were super young and we were, in, we were taking a bath together. Probably too old to be doing that since I remember it. <laughs> And he like laughed, same thing, except what came out was a huge blood clot. It was like this big. So I was like, Jesus, what the fuck's going on? But yeah, th that was one of the funniest fucking, that was like one of the hardest times I've ever laughed while filming a video with Keith. Mad Lib Madness is probably the video that people approach me the most about when they see me. They're like, oh man, I've been, you know, you, I've been watching you for so long and those Mad Lib videos, those are my fucking favorite. Um, so those resonate with people, so. And they're always fun to film too. Filming with Keith is fucking hilarious every single time. I know there's a big story behind this one. This is Watch Your Mouth. Yeah. From six years ago. You get 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Here's a fire Huh? Shh. Here's a fire Here's a fire Hit a hippopotamus. <laughs> oh, also, wait, pause it, pause it, pause it. Right? My sister is a speech pathologist, so she actually played an intricate role in all of this because before we, were, we started filming, she was like, here are letters that are hard to pronounce if you can't close your mouth. So it was like M's and B's and P's. So we like, she was like, try to write, you know, words with that. So that's why, you know, you see all these things that are like the mailman is a bad ball player, like, or hippopotamus poop. It's like, those letters are hard to say, so we were like, oh, okay, that's... So she made it kind of easier for us to come up with things. The mailman <laughs> is a Ted. <laughs> the mailman <laughs> is a Pad. Oh, hi. <laughs> He's the only one who stares directly into the camera. He stares into the camera, and then we also took that picture and put it on a shirt. Keith still has it. He still has a picture of this exact fucking pose, and it's on a t-shirt, and he wears it sometimes, like, to fuck around the house. Eventually, this became... You know, I put this on Facebook and it went viral like immediately, like overnight. And this was like the first week that I had an agent. So I was calling him and hitting him up and emailing him at like 2 a.m. And in the morning he got back to me and I was like, yo, we should turn this into a real game. And then that's how uh, the game Speak Out kind of came about uh, is because, we, you know, we, we eventually partnered with Hasbro and we created the game Speak Out and it originated from this video. They were playing it on Ellen and, you know, it was fucking crazy. So like, <laughs> that's how this whole thing ended up happening. And at the time, Frankie worked at a Target. And he's like, dude, our fucking uh, like kiosk, when you first walk in, it has the game in, like there. They also made a version of it that was a very limited amount of uh, units that we made, but it was like my face was on it. And then us from that video, like a screenshot from us in that video, were on the back of the box. I still have it like in my apartment. But yeah, that was like an awesome experience too. Well, there's a lot more videos we could pull, but I figured we would end with a huge moment in your career and life, I assume. It yeah. is meeting The Rock. 
I just want to thank you no. for doing such a great job thank on Rock you. the Promo. I really appreciate being like your first round draft pick for this. It really that means a lot to me. Oh, you. hey, no problem. I don't know first round. What is first round? You mean like my first choice? Yeah, my, yeah. Uh, well, you weren't quite my first choice, but hey. You Wait, were, hold on. Hey, time out. Hold on. No, no, no. So I wasn't your first choice. So they lied to me. You guys lied to me. Great. Because I, I was told I was first round. Wh who was first Wait, then? Hey, it, was, it was Kevin Hart. Whoa. I know you guys are like basically dating now. You're hanging out all the time <laughs> on Instagram. Jesus. Easy, calm down. Okay, so, hey, okay, listen, okay, okay, okay. That was ballsy for me to say at the time. Was this scripted? No, I mean. <laughs> you just freestyled that line to The Rock? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Uh, but it was because. First, first thing I want to say is that The Rock is like the nicest fucking dude in the world. He was so cool to me. Um. But this video is actually really like an awesome moment for me. And I guess this is a great one to kind of end on. The Rock was creating his YouTube channel at that time. And they made this series called Rock the Promo. And they wanted me to host it. And apparently he wanted me to host it pretty badly. And they were like, we're filming in LA. And I was like, I don't want to go to LA for a couple of weeks. They weren't paying a lot, but it was good exposure. Like I think it was like two grand or something. But it was a good exposure because you're being on The Rock's channel. And, you know, it was just a cool experience. I fucking, I, used, I grew up. You know, The Rock and Stone Cold, those are my guys. So I told them, like, I'm not going to do it. And then they were like, what if we film it in New York? And I was like, okay, then I'll do it. So then they came and filmed it in New York. So anyway, I ended up hosting this thing for his channel. It was called Rock the Promo. The finale of that was filming in Vegas, which is where this is. On the flight over to Vegas to film this other thing, I was like, I'm going to write a sketch and maybe he'll be on my YouTube channel, right? Just like a pipe dream. I was just trying to pass the time on this fucking six hour flight, wherever it is. So I wrote it and I sent it to his producer, never heard back, nothing. I just did it just to do it. And then, uh, you know, we get on set and we're shooting. When he arrives on set, everyone's kind of like swarming him and I'm just kind of like hanging back, doing whatever. And then he says hi to everyone, he's super nice. And then he like seeks me out and like daps me up like we're fucking boys. Like we're super good friends or whatever. And we were just joking around and making fun of, of, of each other like the entire time. Like, people thought we had known each other for years. Like, that's how, like, cool me and him were, like, you know, when we first met. And that's why I think I was, like, ballsy enough to make that joke to him, <laughs> you know? But anyway, so I wrote that sketch, and I forgot about it. So we filmed the whole thing that we had to film, and then he comes up to me, and he goes, hey, uh, I know you wrote that sketch, and I don't have the time to film that, but why don't we just, like, improv a scene, and then you can use that for your YouTube channel. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking? Like, I forgot <laughs> that I wrote a thing. You know, I was like, what is he saying? And then I was like, oh. So then he's like, let's just like do a scene real quick and we'll put it on your YouTube channel. And I was like, all right, cool. I was like, uh, let's just do a scene where, you know, you'll tell me that I wasn't the first choice for this and then we'll yell at each other and at the end you'll like rock bottom me. And he was like, all right, cool. And then we just turned towards the cameras and they said go and this is the whole video. So there was no real like script. There was no takes. There was no editing. This is one shot. There was nothing cut out of it. It was just this. It was just me and him, um, you know, doing this scene, and it was it was fucking great. Were you nervous? I, at this point, I wasn't really nervous. We had been shooting like all day, and mm -hmm. at that point, I was more nervous because I had lines to remember for the shit that I was shooting for him. So this was just kind of like just riff with this dude, and we were like riffing during the thing too. So it was kind of like I was already like I didn't realize how big the moment was until it was over, and I was like, mm -hmm. damn, dude, that was fucking sick. Even telling the story now, it's like. That's such a crazy, like, this is the biggest actor in the world. You know what I mean? And, like, it was just wild, dude. It was just wild meeting him. And he's, and he's like, the nicest guy, and he was, like, super cool to me. But that was, such a, that was such a moment for me. And I caught a rock bottom, too, which is, you know, a bucket list thing. Looking back on this now, it's, like, it's kind of wild. Like, I'm having a weird reaction to all these videos. It does, all of it does make me fucking cringe. Um, <laughs> because it feels so, like, far away. And I was so young. But... It's been a it's been a it's it's been a journey for sure. This is the first time that I've kind of revisited these videos too. So it, it kind of puts it in perspective. Like now we're shooting in a studio, um, but I started doing it in my mom's fucking messy ass basement with wires and a bed sheet. But yeah, that's all for this week's video. I, I appreciate you guys. Like I said, it's been a crazy ride. Uh, it's been over ten years uh, doing this shit, and you know I I appreciate all the support. And for all the people who are going to be commenting like, oh, I remember this or whatever, like that's crazy to me. Like if you guys really remember uh, that like Facebook poke video or the know or go thing or even like, you know, just any of those earlier videos that are no longer available on YouTube and you're still watching, like that is crazy to me. I cannot believe you're not sick of this already. <laughs> like that's fucking crazy to me. But thank you so much for the support. It means so much. And I'm just very thankful and happy 
So, yeah. Uh, subscribe. Fucking, I don't fucking know. Bow!